Hey everybody, it's me, Zach, and under that blanket somewhere is my dog, Potato, and welcome back to our channel. Hey everybody, it's me, Zach. Hi, how are you doing? I hope you are doing well today. I'm doing pretty good, and today we are going to dive back in the depths of Darlene Michaud. Um, if you don't know... <laughs> Where do I start with Darlene? I found her from one of my Twitch viewers. We've watched her over there. I also recently did watch one of her clips and re-upload it to my Twitch re-upload channel if you want to check that out. And in the past on this channel, we've covered her 72-hour uh, sardine fast challenge situation type of deal where all she ate was sardines and butter. And one of the things that I feel like I've told y'all in the past that is very interesting about Miss Darlene is that she is over here also sharing all of her dating escapades with the internet on her channel. And to be honest, she went through a dry spell in terms of like what she was actually choosing to share about her dating on the internet. Um, and then she started giving some updates here and there. She also even uh, recently posted a video, I think, that said something about, like, leaving dating sites behind and no longer using dating sites. And then on top of all of that, I've also heard through the grapevine, through a little birdie, chirp, chirp, I've heard <laughs> that she also shares a whole lot about her dating experiences on her Patreon as well, although I'm not a Patreon subscriber, so I couldn't tell you the specifics there. So today she posted, well not today, this was posted three days ago, but today we're gonna react to a video that she posted three days ago called my night at the Delta Fair with Blue Eyes. And to my knowledge, uh, I think Blue Eyes is the nickname for one of the, the men she's dating. She does date around. She does date multiple people, which I say, go off. <laughs> Get to it, Sister Sue. Like, you want to date multiple people? You're not in a committed relationship. Live your truth. Do what you want to do. Uh, but, anyway, she has nicknames for all of them, for my understanding, and Blue Eyes is one of them. I have to be a little bit transparent in the sense that I have not kept up with every single dating video, but this video in particular uh, was recommended and suggested to me to watch through my uh, Darlene Misho screener. I have, <laughs> I have somebody from my Twitch chat who screens all of her videos and lets me know what she thinks will be a good reaction. So uh, kudos and shout out to Just Jamie, uh, who also you've probably seen in other people's chats. I know she, she hangs out in a lot of reaction channels chats, and she's a mod for uh, the good old kind of good kind of back. So shout out to Jamie. If you see her in a chat, say kudos to you, Jamie. Thank you so much. But anyways, yeah, I don't know. I've talked too much and I have limited time today. So let's just get to get to, shall we? Hi everyone, it's me, Darlene. Hey, Darlene! I'm here with an update about my date last night. So many of you are invested in this story. <laughs> and I got a lot of comments. So many were saying, please let us know how... <laughs> I love that she's an editing queen, but that was a really, a really rough jump cut. Went, so this video is to tell you how it went. All Just right. to refresh your memory, the video I did yesterday told you that I was going to be going out with Blue Eyes. Okay. That's the name of the guy that I'm currently seeing, and uh, that we were going to be going out, and I believe at the point of that video, you knew we were going to a fair, but then I think... You also got to know that we were going out to eat. Yes, because some of you mentioned that. And some of you said, I hope you took a picture of your food. And I did. Oh. <laughs> I was going to post it on Facebook. I hope she got some just straight up beef and butter out at the restaurant. I hope. I also appreciate that she's giving a recap. Normally I'm like, really? Do we have to do all this? But my, my lazy ass has not watched all the videos. So I do appreciate the recap in this instance. It is quite helpful. But we were just too busy. And so I didn't do that. Okay, so a Blue Eyes uh, was here the night before. Ooh, and at when I was home? recording, he was out uh, at a job site. Okay. And he came back while I was editing and he took a nap because he was tired and Ooh. I wanted him to take a nap. Okay, napping and king. So he did okay, you making him take a nap? Yes. <laughs> you let him know who's boss. 
we got a little sub-dom situation <laughs> type of deal going on here. I'm sure it's not like that. I don't know why that's where my mind jumped, but that's kind of what it felt like when she was talking about, I wanted him to take a nap. Yes, you better. You better make him take a nap. Did that, and that gave me time to finish editing and get my video uploaded and all that stuff. When he got up, we headed out to Ooh. the restaurant. <laughs> the, the pause there, when she was like, when he got up, we... I was like, are you about to tell us all y'all fucked? <laughs> we ended up going to a buffet, and I know the name of it. Brick House Buffet. She's a brick. Bartlett House. Tennessee. Wow. What a place. Now, he knows that I never go out to eat, uh, but I wanted to go out to eat with him. He okay. let me know early enough so that I was like, I was eating some ground beef, and I said, okay, I'm not, I'm not eating anymore <laughs> because I wanted an appetite, and I can get full, and when I'm full, I simply will not eat. Um, I love that she had to set the bowl of beef down. She said, put it down. I put it down right now. I got to have an appetite for all this meat I'm about to consume at the buffet. I'm obsessed. But I knew I would be hungry, and I didn't realize it was going to be a buffet like what we went to. It was... It was phenomenal. Oh, oh okay. Wow. At first I thought, I'm never going to eat enough to make it worth it. it it's so it's not it's not like a Golden Corral situation type of deal. It's it's a good buffet. It's a, a 15 something. It was 16 bucks, let's just say, for the buffet. But then it dawned on me, I'm going to be eating just meat uh -huh. or fish or whatever, seafood, whatever they had, pork. So I thought, if I went to a restaurant... I would be paying a hefty price for some prime rib or something, and I'd be getting just a piece, uh -huh. not like a plate full of the meat. So I was excited. <laughs> and we went in. I love that the, the thing that she's excited about on this date is just getting a big old plate full of meat. She said, I'm going to get my plate full of meat, and then I'll have old blue eyes meat a little later, because I'm a carnivore. <laughs> and uh, first I walked all around. <laughs> And I, and I planned my attack. Uh -huh. I knew I was getting, I believe it's prime rib. Oh my God, it was so good. Why was she, she whispering? Why, why was she whispering about that? Ooh, that just sent chills down the back of my neck. So it was another like roast and that was pork, which was equally good. Uh huh. Let's talk about the prime rib for a minute. <laughs> there was some fat on the plate. <laughs> I'm just dying that this is supposed to be a video. I mean, I guess this is about her date, but it's also about literally all the meat she got at the at the buffet. This is this is gold. This is perfection. Fuck blue eyes. Tell me more about the meat on your plate. Because they had been cutting slices for people, and they were just cutting the fat off because the people didn't want the fat, and my eyeballs were like, oh my god, look at that fat. I told him I'd take two pieces of that, and he sliced two nice uh -huh. thick pieces, and he was like going to start to cut the fat, and I'm like, no, no, I want the fat, and he goes, okay. So he puts that on the plate, he starts to hand me the plate, and I asked about the additional fat that was there on the cutting board, and he said, would I be able to have that fat too? He's like, you want that? I was like, yeah. He goes, yeah, okay. She is so fucking giddy! <laughs> She's so giddy about the leftover fat scraps from these other people. I am dying. She sounds more excited about this meat and the fat than she has talking about old old blue eyes napping or anything blue eyes related so far in this video. So he puts the fat on my plate. Uh huh. And <laughs> even blue eyes was like, I go, I love animal fat. And so he's, he's good with it. And then it was Blue Eyes' turn, and he said, I'll just have one piece of that. Uh -huh. And I said, do you want your fat? He goes, no. And I said, I'll take his fat. So I had quite a bit of fat. The picture I'm going to see in a bit. doesn't quite look like as much fat as there was. But <sighs> she said, I'll have your fat too, Blue Eyes. The, the first time he's come up in the past three to four minutes of her talking. Well, not three to four. She's only been talking for four minutes. So the past... Two minutes of her talking about this experience at the buffet. The only time he's come up so far is for her to talk about how she got his fat, too. All right, girl, go the fuck off. There was a lot of fat. There's, like, some underneath. It was, it was so incredibly yummy. Oh, my goodness. 
And then we moved on to the pork roast. I took one slice mm -hmm. of that, I think. Blue Eyes maybe took two. Uh -huh. That was just a falling apart. It was so good. Uh -huh. um, and then there was shrimp there with the meat. Jumbo wow. shrimp. And okay. I, I um, took a pile of that. Oh my Put that God. Plate down. Then I hit the salad bar. I'm like, I'm going to have a salad, a carnivore salad. I spotted cottage cheese, and I love cottage cheese. Uh, it's dairy, you know, I don't do that great. <laughs> I mean, <coughs> 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 Ooh, I already know where this is going. I already know where this is going. Because if y'all have watched my, like, carnivore... Well, no, it wasn't even the carnivore one. I did a video about Life Plus Cindy where she, <laughs> she went to Texas Roadhouse and she's a carnivore. And she got the, the loaded baked potato without the potato. And she got the, the side salad without the, the salad. This girl's about to load up on cottage cheese, shredded cheese, and probably some bacon bits or something like that. And I... It says, let's fucking go. It with dairy, but certainly I eat it. You know, and I, I was going to have some then. So my salad consisted of cottage cheese and then uh, regular shredded cheese, uh -huh. probably uh -huh. cheddar or whatever, whatever they had. And bacon bits. Some pepperoni. Oh, oh, that's a surprise. Okay, pepperoni. I kind of forget that sometimes they do put pepperoni on the salad bar. Then some pieces of chicken. I would oh. have chicken too. They had all kinds of different things, but okay. a lot of the other stuff looked like it was maybe coated with barbecue sauce sure, or, sure, sure. or whatever. Um, there was ribs, sure. but again, those ribs looked like they were sweet, you know, with the sauce and stuff. So I didn't take any of that. Work. So just the... Ha ha heaven forbid, heaven forbid you get some <laughs> sweet stuff, but a bowl full of cottage cheese, regular cheese... Pepperoni and chicken. Mm mm. Yummy. We are eating good in the neighborhood. Meats that got carved for me, and um, and I took the pepperoni and the chicken just a little bit. You'll see the plate that I uh -huh. made with my salad. I I also just want to say real quick that I love how I was like getting y'all prepped up to talk about dating and getting you excited about one of her dating videos, which are very good, but so far. <laughs> All we've talked about is her carnivore diet. Love, 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 love. And it was just the four ingredients. Cottage cheese, cheese, pepperoni, chicken. I believe that's it. And then, though, I saw shrimp at the salad bar. Uh -huh. That shrimp wasn't coated in anything. The other shrimp that I had uh, looked like boiled shrimp. But it might have been grilled shrimp. I don't know. But it was kind of oily, and I was afraid that was vegetable oil. But again, for that day, I didn't care. The salad heaven, bar shrimp. Heaven, heaven forbid you have some vegetable oil coating your, your shrimp. Or jumbo, and they were boiled. And um, I took more of those. Uh-huh. And, oh my God, Blue Eyes took a big plate, two plates of stuff. So we sat down, and uh, I was like, I can't believe... I'm eating such good food. And, you know, I hadn't been out to eat. I think I had determined that since, like, 2011, I've only been out three times. Oh, wow. Once with my husband, and then once, uh, twice with Derek. Okay. And my husband and Derek was before carnivore, and then only once since carnivore. And I don't do takeout, stuff like that. Sure. If you ever saw me at McDonald's in Sanford, Maine, it's because I was getting stuff from my mother. <laughs> She said, don't get it fucking twisted. You saw me at McDonald's, I was getting that shit for somebody else. I was explaining to Blue Eyes what a big deal this was for me to be out. It doesn't sound like a big deal to most people, but I think I mean, he got it, you know? He I understood. like that for you. He seemed to be so happy that I was happy about the fact that we were sitting down to this wonderful buffet. Sure. But then I felt bad because I said, wow, this is a lot of food. And it's a buffet, and I, I shouldn't have taken this much. You know, I could have taken a little and then gone back up sure. without thinking. And then I said, you know, we're not supposed to take anything home because it's a buffet. He goes, no, we can. And what they end up doing is, and they even asked, do you want a uh, to-go cup? Oh. And it's just a styrofoam cup with a lid. So whatever you can fit in there, you can take home. And so A cup? <laughs> Wait, you got to put it in a cup? 
You're gonna put all those, well, for Darlene, I'm sure that's not a big deal to put all those different meats together. <laughs> she probably doesn't have a problem with mixing meats and stuff, but that feels, I was about to say, oh, that's a really nice buffet, but that feels a little janky. <laughs> that feels a little janky. Uh, Blue Eyes says, we will take two cups, and he only had a piece of meat. He ate a massive amount of food. I was uh -huh. shocked. He Love had a man one who can piece put it down. Of the prime rib left, and he cut that up and put that at the bottom of the cup. He gave me his cup, and, he, and I had the other empty cup, and I was able to bring back everything that was left over. Oh on my god! And the little bit that he had, including I even put like my cottage cheese and stuff on top. <laughs> I'm so happy. <laughs> 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 Not the cottage cheese on top of all of the meat in a cup. Okay, girl, let's fucking go off. It was so nice. I was a little bit full, but, um, you know, I'm glad I didn't eat more than that because now we were going to the fair. So right from let's there, we go. went to the fair. I don't want you guys to be disappointed that I didn't take pictures of anything at the fair. I did take pictures of my food, but at the fair... <laughs> well, that's, that's what's most important. Fuck blue eyes. Fuck the fair. We need pictures of the food. Which also, we haven't seen those yet. Is she going to show them in this video or do I have to go seek them out on her social media somewhere? I did bring my camcorder. It was in my purse. I wish I hadn't because that was just extra bulk to carry mm, around. So true. I just didn't want to take pictures and um first of all it was hot and we were doing a lot of walking uh -huh. and i just wanted to walk and enjoy you guys know that i live you know with a camera for the most part i live through a camera sure and i decided quite a while back i remember when derek said to me once like we were doing a something for skyla when she was little an event or whatever and he said can you please just like watch and be present Ooh. and not just Ooh. be recording. And I said, okay. absolutely. And okay. So when I'm out doing something. All right. I like that self-awareness. I do like that self-awareness. I feel like, you know, one of the things I've always complimented Darlene on is that she has good boundaries when it comes to the way she interacts with YouTube, you know? Like, she, she has made some very clear lines in the sand about what she will and won't do. She will and won't. Yeah, what she will and won't do. I don't know why that sounded weird in my head. That's just for me, um, or in this case, me and Blue Eyes. Uh, I just didn't want to record. Sure. And I think you guys are okay with that. I am. Had yeah. we gone on a ride or something, so yeah, we didn't go on a ride. Don't, oh, don't be disappointed damn. in that either. Well, I, I have a feeling you took a ride on some meat later, <laughs> okay? Whether that was Blue Eyes or the meat that was... Uh, Stuffed into those two styrofoam cups. I think you probably took a ride later. You know, I would have tried to at least take a selfie of me. You know what I mean? I, I just, I don't want to um, intrude on his uh, sure. privacy at this point. Sure. Okay, so we went to the fair. The ride was nice. Very talkative. We, you know, we just uh, are on the same page uh, for the most part. Love. And again, we both have a history of alcoholism and he also, uh, drug addiction. Okay. You know, he has 27 years clean and sober. I'm 23 years in. And Love. we uh, have a lot in common, but it was just, uh, it was nice. And it wasn't really, really hot, so I was hopeful that we wouldn't be hot walking around the fair. But it was hot walking around the fair. So we got <laughs> okay. there. Uh, well, you, you being hot, listen, if you don't know this about her, she sweats a lot. In fact, there's a... Uh, photo she's posted on her like publicly available Facebook. She like advertises her Facebook in addition to what she does over here on the the YouTubies. And there is a a photo of her out at the bar, just drenched in sweat because she's been dancing, just dancing, dancing, dancing. She goes to the bar. She doesn't drink. Um, she just goes to listen to live music and dance and drink water. And she gets so sweaty, y'all. <laughs> she really does. Seven o'clock, it was just starting to get dark a little bit. And we just started walking. And I said, why don't we just look at all the rides, walk around, and then if we want to go on a ride, we can. And he would do some of those rides, not all of them. I would have done, I think, every single ride that I saw. Okay, However, badass. <laughs> I hadn't been on a ride in 30 years, and we had just eaten. I ate a whole shitload of meat and mm -hmm. animal fat. Oh, yeah, before I forget, let me show you the food, okay? Um, I, I thought we were, 
I thought you were gonna forget. I was worried that we weren't gonna see it, but I'm glad, I'm glad in the middle of you talking about actually spending time with this man, you remembered to come back to what's really most important here, which is the food that you ate. Going to see fat, like, tucked in around the meat on the big plate, it's hard to see just how much there was, uh -huh. but I was devouring that fat. It was so good. <laughs> so let me just show you that right now. Let's go. Okay, ooh, look at this. Okay, the, sh the scrimp. There's her little salad in the upper left-hand corner. This is like a uh, fucking Disney House of Mouse, Mickey Mouse, but it's all meat. Doesn't that look like Mickey? <laughs> look at old Mickey here, made out of plates of meat. Yummy. Mm-mm-mm, eating good, eating good. Oh, just from a different angle. Thanks so much for the additional photo. Very helpful, very helpful. That was the meal. Yeah. And did you see the little salad <laughs> and then the extra shrimp uh -huh. and the water? I might have taken one sip of that water. I did not want to fill up on liquids. I wanted have, to eat that heaven, feast. Heaven forbid you hydrate, so girl. So, tender. so now back to the fair. Uh, we started walking all around and probably after 10 minutes, I could feel that I was starting to sweat. It was humid. By the end of the night, I, I was drenched not only my hair, but my clothing. And, you know, he would be like, oh, my God, your shirt is so good. My shirt, when he would put his hand on my back. You know I love that, right? <laughs> why, is she, why does she got to whisper like that? It takes me the fuck out every time. You know I like that, right? Ooh, girl, you got me. I, I was drenched, and I didn't care. <laughs> I was having a good time. So we walked around, like I said. Uh, we considered going on a couple of the rides that he would go on, but the lines were so long. And uh, he's like, oh my God. I said, no, I'm not, I can't, I'm not waiting. He goes, I can't. He goes, I just don't want to be standing sure. like that. He said, I would get so tired standing there. And, but we were both good with the walking part. And we walked for two hours. We just walked the okay, whole walking fair. queen. Sat down twice just for a few minutes to rest. And uh, I, I didn't mind that that uh, we didn't go on rides. I was just having a good time Love. just being out there. I haven't done anything like that in such a long time. Go out to eat, go to a fair. Yeah. I was like, uh, who needs to travel and see the world? I'm right well, here. And, well, and enjoy you could be in Thailand with old foodie booty if you really wanted to. Being it so much. <laughs> I don't know, like, again, I don't know if he realizes um, how big that was for me to be out. I love out. that for you. Now, we did stop at certain booths, and one of them was the, um, well, first he looked into getting a tattoo. He was going to get a tattoo. At the fair? Uh, but there was no uh, uh, designs that he liked, and they weren't equipped to do anything but those. So. A, a tattoo at the fair? <laughs> I think the fuck not. I don't think I'm trying to get a tattoo at the fair. He passed. I considered for a moment getting a tattoo, something I thought I would never even consider. But And then license plates here in Mississippi, you don't have a, a front license plate, so a lot of people just put a decorative plate. Uh -huh. And I, I was like, I don't know, you know, I just... I wasn't sure if I wanted something there. I know you can get, because everything is expensive at the fair in the first place. And I knew he would want to pay for it. Oh. And I didn't want to be making him <laughs> she, pay. Oh. Uh, he had already just taken me out. And, I, and I thought it. she was going to say, I knew he'd pay for it. So I was, I was going to get what I wanted. But, <laughs> but it sounds like she's being more reasonable than that. Not, not trying to take all his money. It's costly just to park and get into the to the fair and everything. So, you know, it, I worry about people spending money. I'm trying to break that habit because I don't want Blue Eyes to think that I'm just going to always bug him every time he takes his wallet out. Sure, <laughs> so, sure, sure, sure. Don't need to be doing that. But I didn't opt to get a uh, decorative license plate. <laughs> okay. The one thing I would have done was he wanted to take pictures of, um, like, the Western. You go in, you put some costumes on, oh, and it's like a black yes. and white. Actually, it's, you know... Oh, like my the, God. The yes. I, I, need to, I need to see Darlene pulled up in one of these little, like, saloon girl outfits <laughs> with, with a gun in her hand. I would live for that. Please tell me you did it. Sepia, is that how? Sepia, Sepia, I think is how it's pronounced. 
I would have done that. But, but why didn't I you? I am drenched. I am drenched. No. I just do not want to do this at this point. But no. I don't know if we're still seeing each other in, in the future and we have the opportunity to do that. I said I would definitely do that with you. I can't stand her beef sweat getting in the way of her taking one of those photos. I'm mad. I would have lived to see that. I would have lived to see it. And she just had too many damn beef sweats. Um, I just felt bad that, you know, I was pretty much saying no to everything, but, you know, I, I just didn't, I just was not, like, wanting a vanity plate. You know? Sure. And set, set your boundary, yeah, girl. I, set I your boundary. The, um, the pictures, the Western pictures, had I not been drenched. <laughs> popular. Down, I heard live music. Oh, I want to tell you about the turkey drumstick. Oh, my God. Uh, they back to food. Back to food. Back to food. Everybody, come on. We're, we're back to food. Fuck old Blue Eyes. I've talked about him long enough. Get back to the food. There was the turkey drumstick. Of course, sold them there. I knew they would um, because I'm in the South, and they were pretty big. They were uh -huh. nice and juicy, and there was a shitload of them just being roasted. Yes. Would you? like a drumstick, like for tomorrow? I said, I would, that would be great. I thought, okay. I was <laughs> near him and I was like waiting to hear the price and I heard him say, oh, okay, no, not for, not for a drumstick. And I said, did they say $17? He Ooh. said, yes. I was so proud of him that he didn't buy that. For I'm so mad. I'm so mad you didn't get your, your leftover turkey leg, your takeout turkey leg. I was, just, I was just already envisioning a world where Darlene woke up this morning after a wild night at the buffet in the fair with old blue eyes, after a night of, of riding some meat, <laughs> by that I mean the meat from the buffet, and she wakes up and she thinks, mm, I've got a little hankering for some breakfast, and she goes, and she goes, and she opens up the fridge, she pulls out the turkey leg, and she goes, nom, 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 <laughs> Because that is outrageous. You know, I can get four turkey drums, uh -huh. smoked turkey drumsticks at, uh, or do they call it turkey legs? Whatever, four of them it's at not, Walmart for eight bucks. No. It's not like it is at the fair, though, Bestie. It's not the same as it is at the fair. Not as big, but still, give me a break. So I was really glad that he passed on that. And but he did buy us food to feed the animals. Yes, yeah, so we both love animals, apparently. And we went to the petting zoo. We went uh -huh. any place that there was livestock. We wanted to, you know, feed and pet them. And she says, so I, I got to feed and pet the cows before I eat them as my ground beef. I love animals so much, but it is exclusively what I eat. Listen, I'm, I'm not in any kind of place to judge her. I, I love animals as well. Uh, but I do also eat meat, but I do just think it's funny, the juxtaposition, because she's like, I had to go see the livestock. Yeah, and you just showed us that huge ass plate of just meat, of just full of meat, pigs and cows. Get, get after it, girl. We spent, you know, quite a bit of time with the animals. I just couldn't really ask for a better time other than the fact that it would have been nice had I not been dripping wet. Well, sure. I, mean, I actually, you know, I was to the point where the the um, the sweat was dripping off my eyelashes. <laughs> oh my <laughs> Just, God, girl. I thought it was kind of funny. I was like, okay, girl. Well, I'm glad you're on board with this. Ma'am. <laughs> and then we took a very long walk to the car because we had no clue uh, where we actually came in and how to get there. Uh -huh. and that was kind of fun. And I was all for it. I'm like, I need this exercise. I, I, I can deal with this. Then, is there anything else I'm missing? Probably. Uh, is there oh, yeah. other so food? Oh, after the drumsticks, uh, I said, I hear live music. And we went, and there was a band. We got to hear two really long songs. Eight-piece band. Horns, drums. Oh, wow. Drums, all kinds of stuff. They were so good. Um, and we sat at a picnic table, and he's like, get up and dance. And I'm like, I'm not dancing alone. I'm not dancing alone, and, uh, and I'm hot. <laughs> But I said to him, you know, if somebody was dancing, I would get up. He goes, I'll go ask somebody to dance with you. I'm like, don't you dare. I think he was serious. No, why would he just?
just get up and dance with you? Why, why wouldn't he just do it? She's probably given backstory that this guy doesn't like dancing or something. But why can't he just get up there and just, like, do the bare minimum with you? It was a lot of people, and I think he was going to get up and ask a woman to dance with me. <laughs> That's how, okay, yeah. Like, no, no, please Work. don't. He's like, well, yeah, he goes, you like to dance? I'd like you to dance. And I said, I'm not, I'm not having you ask. I'm like, oh, play me. Will you play with my date? <laughs> She wants to dance. Huh. She doesn't have anyone. Um, I also just feel like you, you're sitting here waiting for somebody else to go out there and dance. What would happen if you went out there and started dancing? What if somebody came out and joined you? I mean, I would never. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, yeah. he doesn't dance. You guys have been asking me that in the comments. No, he doesn't dance. Oh, it's not a deal okay. breaker for me anymore because I would never meet anyone. And it's just hard to find a man who dances. Sure. So that's like the last thing on my list. You check off these. There, there are zero men in the world that dance. I've never seen a man dance before. Listen, and I'll be good if you don't dance. As long as you at least would come out with me to listen to live music sometimes and that you're not, you know, telling me I can't go dancing with my girlfriend sure. since that's not going to fly. <laughs> so he listens to two songs and he's very nice and uh, nobody clapped. I didn't even, I didn't know they were done. I, they just seemed to stop and then they started putting things away. And he got up to talk to the band to tell them how good they were. And he really liked them. I was oh, glad that he liked them. Great. And, uh, you know, he, he just, he talks to people and I just I'm, like that. I am glad we've gotten to a point in the video, you know. 18 minutes in where we seem to be focused on talking about the things that she likes about old blue eyes and not just the the meat that she she dug into and then we came back to my apartment and we watched a movie Ooh, what movie we were trying to watch a movie he goes i like a movie that i've already seen so i know that i like it and i'm the same way especially if i haven't seen it for a while I, so we were going through I hate rewatching stuff. I hate it. it actually drives Noel mad because there are some like movies that Noel really likes that he likes to like revisit. And I just hate rewatching a movie. Actually, honestly, uh, there's one movie that's an exception, and it's also the only holiday movie I'll I'll ever watch. Like it's the only holiday movie I ever want to watch during the holiday season. And it's also one of the only movies I'll rewatch multiple times, and that is Love Actually. I would say I also have rewatched Mean Girls many times in my life, but that was young when I was much younger. I've I've not done that in recent history, but I will I will give Love Actually a watch every holiday season because there's something about it that I just really love and enjoy. All kinds of movies, looking to see if we could get something for free. He goes, I'll pay for the movie if, oh, if you okay. find it. And I said, I, I don't know how to do that. He goes, me either. <laughs> we don't know how to do these things. One that I was surprised that he said he likes, and he says, I haven't seen it in a while. I'd like to see that. He goes, you probably, you know, don't know it. The Ghost and Mr. Chicken with Don Knotts. It's one of my favorite old-time movies. I just love it. He stays in a haunted house overnight. I could not believe he even brought that movie up. We ended up watching Eight Seconds. I had not seen it. I knew what it was about. But I thought that movie just came out not too long ago. It was 29 years ago. What? <laughs> a movie starring Don Knotts? You, the, the, the guy from what What was that show? The show with... Was it the show with Lassie? The, the, the guy from... Lassie? <laughs> like, is that the show? No, Don Knotts wasn't in Lassie. Don Knotts was in, what was that? This is some old timey shit, but my parents watched it. Why can't I think of it? Was it? No, the, it had Opie, it, the little kid named Opie. <laughs> that wasn't Lassie, was it? Why, why can't I think of what, what the show? I can picture it, but you thought that came out recently? Something starring Don Knotts? Girl, are you serious? And it was Luke Perry uh, from 90210 or Melrose. Oh, uh, I think 90210 was his. And um, who? And he oh, wait, 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 wait a second. I think she's talking about a different movie. I think because if Luke Perry was in it, then that's a different. That's something different. Surely has died. And I didn't even recognize him. He was so young in that movie. And he said, I know I'm going to fall asleep. Wait, through, and I was, like, was Luke Perry in a in a Don Knotts? <laughs> was the Luke Perry and a Luke Perry Don 
make because I need to know what she's what the fuck she's talking about. I don't know. I don't think this is the same. I don't. I don't think. I, listen, we're doing the the important investigative journalism right now. Siri, was Don Knotts in a movie with Luke Perry? I don't know why she doesn't talk back to me. <laughs> I don't know why she didn't say anything. This must be a different one. But I'll tell you what, the show that Don Knotts was in that I was thinking of was the Andy Griffith show. That's what I was thinking of. Like, you go ahead and sleep. I need to, you fell asleep partway through. I watched till the end and, you know, it was just, it was a really nice night. I just wanted to fill you guys in on well, that. Well, thank you so much. You know, there'll be picture taking. I didn't even think, like, with my phone to take a picture, but, you know, who needs a picture of a Ferris wheel? You know, I just... Sure. <laughs> sure. I just didn't take any pictures. But I had a sure, really sure, good sure, time. sure, sure, sure. What I like is that I had a really good time. I do I do love that attitude about some things with picture taking, because, like, let, just as an example, just as a... Uh, as a very brief example. The people who take 1,200 pictures of fireworks every 4th of July. Now, what 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 kind of feelings or moods are you going to get out of that when you go back to look at those later? It's a firework. We, we, you, we've seen them once. We've seen them 1,200 times, girl. Okay? <laughs> like, I don't understand why people take so many firework pictures. Not to mention that fireworks are just annoying in general. Uh, but it, it really doesn't make a lick of sense to me. And if you go back far enough on my social media, I was probably one of the girlies who did it once upon a time. Like, on my Facebook, I'm sure I got a photo there somewhere. But one day I just woke up and I said, why, why are we taking photos of fireworks? That's so goofy. Just walking around and talking with him. Uh, you know, talking about stuff. And did I mention this? Because I feel like sometimes we won't have anything in common. Some of you are going to be so happy to hear what I'm about to say because you keep bugging me about it and I keep saying no, no, not gonna happen. What? I like older guys. Well, he's younger than me. Six oh. years younger. Oh, okay. That's significant. Okay, come on, come on, cougar. Yes, you better work. Uh, mm, yeah, so. There you are. Uh, I wasn't expecting that. And, you know, I know it's only six years, Listen, and I'm surprised. Love finds a way, Darlene. Love finds a way. That, because I, I feel like, like I could be his mother, and his why. Derek is 45, uh -huh. but his friends are all in their 50s. So when I hear 50-something, I think, oh, Derek's friend. So I'm old enough to be Derek's mother. I wasn't really old enough to be Derek's mother, but you oh. know what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, uh, I was pregnant at 16. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I feel like if he's the same age as Derek's friends, then I feel like I'm their mother because they're my son's friends. <laughs> so I feel like I could feel like his it's mother. Okay, girl. And I don't like that. Listen. I like older. But listen, you you get that younger that younger me. You go for it. And if he's watching this, if you're watching this, blue eyes, um, yeah, I'm I'm good with you being a baby. <laughs> Uh, in six years! Oh, still, you know, have a lot in, in common. six years, Miss like Ma'am. Six years is, you know, a whole generation. Right. Um, Please. So anyway, I, I had a good time. And Why is she choking uh, herself so now, right now? This is Friday. I wasn't expecting to go out tonight, but now I am. I'm going to the school play, and then I'm going out directly after that because I found a friend who's going to McGinnis, Dan McGinnis, in South Haven. Um, <laughs> okay. Goodman, All right. For... I don't know if it's Pinch or The Pinch. Haven't seen them yet. Wanted to see that band. They play uh, supposedly 90s music, so uh, I went out. I love 90s Saturday music. Tomorrow, um, I should have gone with her. Again to Hadley's to see Area 51. My friend Jeannie ended up having other plans. I know I will have friends there, so I'm definitely going. Even if I'm going alone, I will have friends to sit with and stuff and dance my ass off. Yes! Um, Let's fucking dance our asses off. Over again. Sunday, Wait, what did she say? And, um, Blue Eyes might be coming over again Sunday, she maybe was Saturday sorry. night. We don't know for sure. She uh, if he doesn't make it this weekend, then I think he said it'll go till the next weekend because he's got stuff to do all week. Okay. And okay. I'm good with all of that. Good. 
hope you guys are enjoying this journey. And again, I love this video. Don't take it too seriously. This video I'm is everything. I'm telling this story more than I did the others because I'm doing things that I that I haven't been doing, and I'm excited to share that with you. Okay. Those of you who have known me for a it's, while, it's less about old blue eyes, and it's more about the new experiences she's having, like. Plates full of meat at the buffet. On time, you know I don't go out to eat. You know I would never be walking around at a fucking fair <laughs> and enjoying myself. So I'm just excited to She's tell you so these goofy. things that I'm doing. Not She's so I'm funny. To go out and do things, and I didn't remember how much I missed that. I grew up with a father who would take me and my mother. My siblings were much older and out of the house. Uh huh. Um, Every weekend, we would go on day trips if we could, and, and he loved to just go to what is, fairs what or this car shows or everything? boat shows or <laughs> flower shows. Can we go it back to the meat or blue like, eyes? Out, go to the beach, go to different restaurants, go to museums, and we just, he loved to be out, so we went out a lot, and, you know, then uh, as I got older, I, I just didn't care to do those things because I was a drunk. Okay. Um, but I okay. did do some of those things with Derek because I too wanted to show him things. So we did. We did go do, you know, a lot of things. And uh, Blue Eyes likes to do those kind of Good. things. And I told him everything you Let's just do mentioned. It. Let's I do would it. Love to do. Let's fucking go. Going to the drive-in. I didn't know that still existed anywhere. I guess there's one in Memphis with four screens. And he said, oh. we'll go to the drive-in. Oh, wow. I, w I would listen. I would love to go to a drive-in just one more time in my life because I do remember my parents took me to one when I was like a kid, and it was so fun to just sit in the car with your family and watch a movie. What what we bring for food? <laughs> he knows I'm gonna have just meat, and I think I said I'll cut pieces of chicken breast up really small and just like fry those in a pan, and I'll consider that popcorn chicken. You know. I could do shrimp too, just plain <laughs> chicken and shrimp. I think I'd like that. Okay, uh, that is, uh, and I'll put it like in a popcorn container just to look festive. Love, 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 love that we're planning a future date, and we briefly talked about what we'd be doing on the date. But what's more important is I got to figure out what kind of snacks, what kind of meat snacks I'm gonna have for the for the drive-in movie. <laughs> So I have my, I have my drive-in snack prepared, and all right, I guess I'm gonna just sign off now. Are we just done? To update you guys on on the stuff that I did. We good, Darlene. And, uh, there'll be a time you see me on a on a roller coaster. There will. I would because love that. If there's anyone anywhere near, I think he says he would do roller coasters. I think I he does like to spinning see that. things, if I remember right. Um, I would love to see that. Really cool. I'm going to hang up now. i got to get ready to go to a school play. <laughs> hang up, girl. This, this isn't the telephone. Just turn the camera off. And i got to dance after that. I'll be back with more soon. Please subscribe. Bye. Bye. <laughs> oh, Jamie girl. Thanks so much for suggesting that I watch this video. I had literally the time of my life today. <laughs> It's so funny to me how so much of that was supposed to be about her date and how much she talked about just meat, which love, love. Didn't tell us about old blue eyes meat, but did tell us all about the meat that she consumed otherwise. So uh, 10 out of 10, definitely recommend. What a great video. So glad I watched. <laughs> Anyways, uh, that's all I have time for today. So if you're brand new to my channel, make sure to subscribe down below. Hit the bell button so you get a notification every single time I post a new video over here on the Zachary Michael channel. Uh, make sure to leave me a comment, hit like, click share, and follow me on all my social media. I love you all so much, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!